Okay, so for new people on this channel, uh, what we do is that we are buying expensive courses from uh, like Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, Dunlop, and then we make summary from it. So you don't need to spend like hundreds of dollars and you don't need to spend time because often like just uh, this course from Ty Lopez, how to turn your social media into a business, which is a good idea. And you have some basics in this course. There are 10 chapters. Each chapter is between half an hour and an hour in the original. So check how long are the chapters and how much money we save you. If you want to support us and we are below 1000 subscribers, so support us with sub subscribe or hit the like button. If we are over 1000 subscribers, I will put some tiers which you can, where you can like subscribe and pay us every month a little bit, two, three, five dollars. So let's go, how to turn your social media into a business. So Ty speaks about that you can do it full time or part time and that it will be some progression. So point number one in this chapter is progression. So that means that it will take some time. So you maybe have some experience or already followers. So the start will be like not so slow. If you start from zero followers, it will take some time. So come with it and expect it. Uh, you should look for steady grow. Uh, so steady grow. That means you should aim for every day thousand followers, you know, to gain or hundred or 10,000. But uh, you should not aim for like, you know, 500, followers than zero, you know, so you should be steady and you should be storyteller, storyteller. Ty is amazing storyteller and it's what drives, you know, people now telling the stories, not just data and you should focus on vlogging. Uh, because why vlogging? Because stories are the best as video, you know, so best way to tell story, vlogging, basically. Now we will check seven social media platforms. Seven social media platforms. So first, it's Instagram. Yeah. The second one is YouTube. I will explain. I will write them and then I will explain what I said about them. You know. Then third is Snapchat. It's uh, some ranking um, of from most important for Thai, but I will give you my like two cents to it. Then it's Facebook, number four. And then it's podcast. You should make podcasts. Podcast. And then it's number six, Twitter. And it was funny because in most of the videos, I just improvise. And uh, number seven, uh, he didn't mention like live streams. And now more to the, to the platforms. I a little bit disagree with this because, for example, it depends on your niche. Because my friend, he more, he works in marketing. He's a great marketer for big companies. And he he's freelancer and he wants to speak to business owners that want his services. For, he, for him, it's Facebook number one. You know, you, you don't find business owner on YouTube you know, looking for marketers, but he can approach them through Facebook. So Facebook for him, it's number one. So it's my two cents. And I think this, this works for Thai. And also Facebook is number four because it's, I will explain it's quite hard, you know, to succeed on Facebook. So then he mentioned like the key, key uh, like aspects of the platforms. So Instagram is like showcase, you know, show off showcase uh, you can like highlight you know your highlights you can highlight your life you know pictures short videos youtube is good for long videos 
you know, long video, like five hours videos before it was, now it's also on Facebook, you know, you can make it, but basically YouTube, people are used to long videos. Uh, Snapchat is like new TV for him. Uh, it means like now we have videos even on Instagram and such, but he mentioned that on Instagram people just click and go to the next video. On Snapchat is a little bit harder, you know, you will get to different when you already start to watch the video. It's, it's harder to click like away. Uh, then Facebook, he mentioned uh, like it's like all mix. Why is number four? It's because it's like hard. For example, my friend, he's, he sucks kind of on YouTube, sorry, uh, Philip, uh, but he's perfect in organic Facebook. He is the master, you know, so it's like all mix and on Facebook, it's, it's the best ad platform. Okay, you can put ads everywhere, but Facebook and this I agree. Facebook is the best ad platform in targeting, in data, in algorithms. It's really best and it's number four because it's hard. Podcast is like like new radio and it's like hands-free, hands-free and eye-free. What does it mean? It's people use it while they're driving, while they are in the gym, they can listen to your podcasts. And Twitter, it's like chatter, trash, news and fun. Chatter, news, fun. This is the characteristic for the platform. And live streams, basically, you can interact everywhere, like through chat and such. But in live stream, you can uh, the best interact with your audience. And then he mentioned one wild card. I'm not sure if it's visible. Um, I will check. Yes, yes, it's visible, so I can put more one wild card. Here and it's email marketing. Uh, we speak about it, and that's that's right. Also, I agree. It's like the the oldest, but it's the most important, and I will explain why. I didn't mention, but joining the newsletter, you should everywhere, you know, on website, everywhere join newsletter. And why? Because people still read emails, and it's for free, you know. So. You should be, you know, building your, you know, email list. So it's old school, but still good. The seven social media platform. And in the next lesson, we will focus on developing a main story. So here is already the next video. So check it. We will continue.